I mean, that was a great college hockey game. I mean, if you don't come back after watching that, then you don't like hockey because that was two even teams going toe to toe to the final buzzer. Coach, you were uh, a little bit concerned about the inactivity of your club. What, two games in 24 days, 26, whatever. Extra sweet to get a uh, win against a, a, apparently a good club in Air Force uh. despite the. Uh, yeah, it's huge in a lot of ways. I mean, we lose Murph, you know, our top left winger uh, early in the game. Isaac Cole's the next shift. He's hurt. He leaves the game. So all of a sudden we're down to 10 forwards, and that's that's not easy to juggle. Um, we had a short bench, and the, and the guys, you know, the guys looked in great shape for not playing a lot of games. Um, I was really pleased, you know, just the back and forth of it, the momentum switch changes, and how the goals happen. I'm really proud of our guys sticking to it. Can you talk about the, the third period and, and maybe what it was that you guys were able to take advantage of? Well, we, we said uh, after the first period, um, you know, we, we didn't have uh, many chances, but the shots that we did, he left a lot of rebounds. So, you know, we just said the, the top of the crease is going to win or lose the game tonight. And, uh, you know, I thought our guys, after, you know, the second and third period, we spent a lot of time at the top of their crease, and that's where all the goals come. Chris Lochter's evidence, you know, he's kind of does a little face dive and makes a good play. But, I mean, those were the goals are scored. So we paid the price the last, for the last 40 minutes, and that's how we got the win. Short bench, like you said, you get the pace of that. Especially the third period, you're able to tie it three times. There. Yeah, it's we, we found a different way every game. And that's that's those are experiences that are going to pay off in March. I mean, you know, um, just so proud of the perseverance and how we keep winning games. Every game's different. It seems that every win's different, feels different. But, uh, you know, I th when we finally got the fourth, you know, I looked up at the clock and there was a little under five. And I just, you know, looked down at my D and we got an old decor. I said, okay, boys, shut her down. And they did. <clears throat> he did, yeah. He made, he made a couple saves. It's, you know, it's when. Um, but he was solid all night. You know, I don't think he had chance on, on two of them. So, yeah, it was, uh, I thought both goalies played well. It's a good game. <clears throat> the game's only been over a few minutes, but looking at the big picture, I think this might be setting the cold for like, you know, the second half of the season. Because I remember last year, every, you know, there, any team could beat any team on a given night. And, you know, I think uh, it's only one game, it's still maybe a precursor to what could, tr could possibly, you know, transpire in the next couple of months. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, obviously, said, said it before, it's a great team to be around. I'm looking forward to getting on the road. You know, um, it was a long week here waiting to play, you know, on break and uh, had the extra day of practice with the Saturday game. But, you know, we have a short practice week. We'll get on the bus and let's take this show on the road. I'm, you know, I'm <clears throat> keep this thing going. Feels great. That's aggressive. What a great play by Dan Kalenda. Um, we were trying to get a change. His two line mates came, but he's big and strong. He gets to the hash marks, uh, fends off a couple defenders, buys some time for us to get in zone, and then Willie made a great play going down the wall, and what a shot. I still, I don't know if it was tipped, but it went in and out. Boy, oh, boy, that was, that was a huge play by Dan Kalenda, and then Willie finished it off. It's a great play. Oh, absolutely. There was a momentum shifts, a momentum shifts all game long today, for sure. But um, I think we took the, the bad momentum shifts in stride and made our made our positive momentum shifts and pulled, like I said earlier, I pulled, we pulled together um, in between the second and third and really we buckled down and decided that we were going to win. And when we, oh, I believe in everyone in the room, so did all the other guys. This year is awesome. We know we're go when we're going into the third period, we, we're going to win. You know, Brooke, you mentioned that um, every game is a, you win in a different way, and, and this one you, you had to win with only 10 forwards um, for most of the game. Can you just maybe talk about how, how you know, pulling that one out this way? Um, well, um, Coach says it almost every every day. Um, we're a really deep team. We have four lines that go hard all game long, and um, it was a it was a real tough loss to lose two big forwards there, um, two big point guys. But um, we knew that we we have a, such a, a wide array of guys that can put the puck in the net that we just kept going and got our bounces. I mean, kept going, and the, the pace of that game for the whole game was was pretty was pretty high. Um, you know, coming off a break and 
You guys still seem to have your legs. You didn't seem to lose any conditioning at all. Oh, absolutely. We had a we had a real hard week of practice. The coaches did a great job. Obviously, the coach just said we had a lot of uh, a lot of practices this week. We had the extra day, um, and they they really pushed us in practice, which was needed after break for sure. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really doing too much different. Um, I am. I worked on it all last year and trying to work on it this year, just getting pucks to the net. And our guys are doing a great job putting them home for me. Um, it's just basically our forwards are gritting down in the, the men's club, as coach calls it, um, right in front of the net there, the little house. And every puck that I get through, they put in. A little internal competition among the league? No. That way, no competition for points. I mean, friendly competition. Not actually, not really. Um, I mean, we all just work together on. We work on almost every practice, trying to get the puck to the net. We do drills, just as we do split groups, forwards and one on D and the other end. D just work on getting pucks through. We we screen for each other. Um, that's really just what we've been trying to work on, getting better at. 